Hi everyone, it's Claudine Helmuth and today we are going to be doing a fun gesso transfer technique using the Claudine Helmuth Studio Gesso which comes in a mini size as well as a large size in a jar and we're also going to be using the landscape green paint. Here's what the finished transfer looks like. So really kind of fun, got some nice grungy edges to it. Looks really interesting. I did this one in a tag book but for this technique we're going to be working in Diane's new journal, which has wonderful cardstock on the inside to work in. So I'm just going to work over here on this page. So to get started, I'm just going to paint an area with landscape green paint. So just squeeze it right out of the jar and using a brush, just kind of get that paint on there. It doesn't matter if it's perfect that will just add to it if it's got some really juicy brush strokes in there. And then you're going to want to dry that with the heat tool. Now that that's dry I'm going to take a little bit of the Claudine Helma Studio Gesso and just squeeze it out onto the surface and brush it but you want to maintain sort of a thick area of the gesso. You don't want to thin it out completely because you need enough for the image transfer to stick in. So I'm going to add a little bit extra. I like to say like buttered bread or mayonnaise it's hard to describe exactly how much you need, but you, if you imagine the photocopy sticking in to the surface, then you need enough for it to adhere. So I'm even adding a little bit more. There we go. I think that that looks like enough. And now I'm just going to take my copy of this tree, and this is just a plain old fo laser photocopy. Laser always works best for image transfers. And I'm just going to stick that down right into the wet gesso. And then you want to dry it completely. Now, ideally, I would just let it sit and come back to it the next day. But you could also use the heat tool. Just make sure you stay about 8 to 10 inches away. If you get too close, the paper is going to bubble and it gets really, really hot. It can make a big mess. Okay, now that that is completely dry, and I'm 100% sure that it's dry, the number one thing that can go wrong with this is not letting it dry all the way, so you want to make extra super sure that it's dry. I'm just going to take my mini, or my mister, it's not even a mini mister, my mister, with uh, just filled with water, and just spray the back. This is like any other transfer. Everybody's done this transfer a whole lot of times, and you're just going to rub the back, and remove the paper. And the gesso transfer can be quite forgiving, so you tend to get a cleaner transfer with gesso than you do with any of these other methods that uh, where you're rubbing the paper off the back. I think that it is the chalkiness to the gesso that really helps. It helps hold the image in there. So you're just going to keep rubbing and rubbing and removing the paper pulp until you've removed it all the way and then you're going to have something like this that you could include in your scrapbook or journal or card or whatever you like. I hope that you've enjoyed this really quick and easy way to do a gesso transfer.